Welcome back. Queues are our next data structure. And the best way to think about them is like an entrance to a roller coaster. The first person that arrives in line gets to go first on the roller coaster. And then the second person gets to go. And then the third person gets to go. Then the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth finally gets to go. So it's the opposite of stacks in that we access first in, first out. The first item in the queue gets access first, that is first out. We call that FIFO. And queues are used, again, a lot in programming problems and interview questions. For example, if you had any sort of waitlist app to perhaps buy tickets for a concert, that uses queues. What about a restaurant app where you check into the restaurant to see if you can get a table? That uses queues. What about Uber or Lyft when you want to grab a ride? Well, the person that requested the ride first will get priority, and then you'll get second. And then finally, the most common example of queues is a printer, right? If you had a printer at home and you had three people on three different computers at your home, let's say your family members, and you press print and each person prints different items, the person that clicks print first should have their first printout. And same for the second person that goes next and then the third person. Now, on the right here, I have a couple of words that are different than push and pop. And I'm using a bit of standard here. You can use push for NQ, which means add to the queue, that is add a person in line, which is 01, and DQ, which you can think of as pop, which is remove person from line. However, DQ, unlike pop, doesn't take the last person in line, it takes the first person. So that's where stacks and queues differ. And we have these names to make sure that we understand the differences. But we have peak, which once again, tells us what's the first item that's going to come out. That is the first person in the list versus a queue that is the last plate, which was the last in first out. And once again, look up in a queue you usually don't do because you're only interested in enqueuing and dequeuing. You can see here that our big O notation is quite fast. We're actually going to demonstrate this in code, but I want you to try and answer this question. Why would you not want to use an array to build a queue? Pause the video if you want to think about it. Well, the answer is that it's very inefficient because we're removing the first item from the list. If you remember, arrays, if you unshift something, you remove the first item, you're going to have to shift all those indexes. So creating a queue from arrays, although you can do it, is really, really bad. And that's something we'll talk a little bit more about when we actually code it. Okay, that's enough for queues. Let's go on to our first exercise. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah